Today what we're going to be talking about is how to always be positive. And I don't mean positive in the woo-woo-y, hey man, everything's, everything's great, everything's positive. I mean from a practical standpoint, how can we make everything a positive? So if something negative happens, how can we turn that into a positive? Now, if you like this episode, please do me a favor, hit the like button. If you have any questions or comments, please t- type them down below. And also, if you love this, please hit the subscribe button so that you'll never miss another episode. Now, I've had conversations with people who say things along the lines of, it's bad to take, you know, to think that everything in the world is positive. Talk how everything is positive because negative things happen. You shouldn't ignore the negative things. And I'm not trying to tell you to ignore the negative at all. Actually, I'm actually more than anything else telling you to focus on the negative and try to figure out a way to turn that negative into something positive. But the easiest way to think about it is this. Think of your mind as a garden. You're the only person that can tend to this garden. You're the only gardener of this garden. It's impossible for you to take tomato seeds, plant them in the ground, and expect that strawberries are going to grow. It's impossible. It will never happen. Just like you can't expect to have negative thoughts come into your mind all day long and expect that you're just going to have a positive life. If you are tending to this garden, if you're the only one that can take care of it, you're also the only person that can pull all of the weeds. Just like if you're in control of your mind and everything that pops up, all of these negative self-doubt, terrible thoughts that pop into your head, maybe ways that you talk down to yourself, all of those weeds need to be pulled. We need to get rid of all of those weeds. We need to focus on our mind as if we're the only person that can tend to this garden and take care of it as if we're trying to make the most beautiful garden that we possibly can. You cannot take tomato seeds, put them in the ground, and get strawberries. You can't have negative thoughts. You can't have negative things happen. You can't have self-doubt. You can't talk down to yourself and expect that you're just going to have this positive life. You have to be in control of this. Your thoughts are not random. Your thoughts are things that pop into your head based on the way that you've thought in the past in the way that you currently still think. So what do do I mean by that? You can't really control your first thought at this point. Right now, the thoughts that pop in your head, those automatic thoughts, those are based off of the way that you've lived in the past. So you can't necessarily change your thoughts right away. You can't control that first thought, but you can always control that second thought. So if the first thought pops in your head is extremely negative, if if that's the first thought that pops in, You can immediately go, no, I'm not going to allow that. I'm going to turn this into something positive. I'm going to take this negative situation and turn it into something positive. I'm going to take this talking down to myself or this self-doubt and and tell myself that I am good enough. I'm going to actually prove to myself how that self-doubt is actually wrong. You have to think of your mind like like a muscle, really, to be honest with you. You go to the gym and you do a lot of bicep curls. You're going to eventually get larger biceps. And if you start to go into the gym and you pick up larger weights and larger weights, eventually that muscle is going to grow. What I am talking to you about is like a gym for your mind. When the negative comes in, how can I be so strong? How can I have the mental fortitude to turn this negative into something positive? I'm not going to ignore the negative. In fact, I'm going to put time into thinking about that negative and think of how I can actually turn that negative into a positive. How can I take this negative and turn it into a positive? That's what you have to think about. That's what you have to control. So that's the first part of of negativity is negativity that's happening in your mind. Self-doubt that's happening in your mind. Now I know some of you that are out there are saying, well, you know, I do really good with my own positivity, but I have a lot of people in my life that are negative. I have negative people in my life. What do I do about that? Well, there's a couple different options. Number one, I would say get rid of them. If there's negative people in your life that throw their negativity onto you, that make you feel like less of a person, or that just really bring you down all the time, if it is possible, get rid of them. You don't have to break up with them. And if they're a friend that you've been friends with for a long time, you don't have to be like, hey, I'm done with you. But you could just try to stop hanging out with them. Or if it's someone, say, for instance, that's in your family, Maybe you just spend less time with them because their negativity, if you allow it to, can affect what comes into that. That negativity is going into your mind and affecting the way that you live, the way that you are. So 
you either get rid of them or you spend less time with them. That's completely up to you. If it's a family member, spend less time with them. It's okay. If it's your parents, you can still spend less time with them. And if there's absolutely, if, you're, if you happen to be watching this um, and you say, well, you know what? I live with my parents. There's no way I can get away from that negativity. Well, if you can't get rid of them and you can't spend less time with them, then what you should do is see that as a challenge. See their negativity as a challenge. Just like you go into the gym and you lift heavier weights. The, more heavy, the heavier you get, the bigger your muscle is going to get, right? The more negativity that comes into you and the harder that you work of not letting that, that negativity enter your mind and turning that negativity into positivity, that, that challenge will make your muscle, your mind muscle, stronger. How can you take their negative and turn it into something positive as well? See that as a challenge. Now, also dealing with negative people. I want to talk about your top five. They often say that your net work determines your net worth. How The people that you hang out with will dictate how much money you make. They always say that if you hang out with five alcoholics, you will probably be the sixth. If you hang out with five millionaires, you will probably be the sixth. So if you hang out with a lot of negative people, guess what? Of course their negativity is entering into your mind. Of course it is harder for you. And so maybe what you do is you take a pen and paper and you write down, here are the five people that I spend the most time with. These are the five people that I spend the most time with day in, day out, each day and each week. And you look at them and you say, is this person right here, number one, two, three, four, and five, and go to each one of them. Are they bringing, are they making my life better? Are they pushing me to be better? Or are they bringing me down? Are they pushing me to be the best version of myself? Or are they pulling me down to their level of negativity? Or their, their level that I don't want to be on? And what you do is you start finding out who you should spend more time with, who you should spend less time with, or hopefully no time with if you can get rid of some of them. And what you do is you now realize there's a couple open spots in my top five. And with those couple open spots in your top five, what do you do? You try to find somebody to replace them. How do you find that person? Why don't you start going to go to meetup.com? Find people that are interested, interested in the same thing that you're interested in. Go to networking groups. Go to, go to different events or places where people that have the same passion and interests go that have the same interests as you. That could be a conference. That could be a, a seminar. You can find if there's different meetups. You can go on Facebook groups. There's almost a Facebook group for everything. So if there's certain things that you like, well, then you can go and try to find those people at those things that you like. Because here's what you have to realize. Your mind is like a garden. You are in control of your thoughts. They're not random things. And once again, you can't control your first one, but you can always control your second one. If that negativity pops in, you immediately go, no, I'm going to change it to something positive. I'm going to think of something positive. And eventually, your first thought will be much more positive because you've been so diligent with that first thought. And then that second thought, you'll notice that you're actually going to start to become more positive over time. It won't happen overnight, won't happen in the next couple of weeks, but over the next couple of months, you'll notice things changing because your mind is like a garden. You cannot put tomato seeds in the ground and expect for strawberries to grow. Just like you can't have negative input coming into your mind and negative thoughts and self-doubt and all those things and expect that your life is just going to be positive. And you can't hang out with negative people all day long and expect that you're going to be positive. You have to get rid of those people. You have to get rid of those thoughts. Whenever the weeds pop up in your mind, you have to pull them. And you are the only person that's in control of it. You have to guard your mind diligently and your life will start to change. You will start to be more positive. And what you'll notice is that the more positive you are, the more amazing your life becomes. So once again, if you like this episode, please do me a favor. Please hit the like button. Comment down below if you have any questions, any comments, anything like that. And uh, I definitely hope that if you want to see more of these videos, you hit the subscribe button as well. But I will talk to you guys soon.